Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to show you how I do my cleansing routine. So I'm gonna show you first how to obviously take off your makeup and what to use. And then I'm gonna do a facial cleanse and then I'm gonna do a scrub. And then I'm actually gonna do a peel mask that I've never tried before. So I wanna try it out and see how it goes. So I'm just gonna use the Garnier one. It's basically, it is almost like water. So it's called a cleansing water and it's got hardly any harsh ingredients in it. So it's not too harmful to the skin. It doesn't burn. It's very good for sensitive skin. So you've got this one and there's also a green lid as well, which I believe is for extra sensitive skin. So I've just put a tiny bit on a cotton pad and I'm just working it around the skin just to remove any makeup. So any excess coming off there. Down on your neck, if you've had any makeup there, you want to remove that as well. Make sure you really go into certain places like, I really press into my eyebrows, around my nose, chin. Okay, so if you have a waterproof mascara on or any type of waterproof like lipstick, um, stuff that stains the lips, it's always good to use something with more of an oil in it. So I've got the MAC Gently Off, which is the red one or pink as some people say. So what you'll see if it's new is you'll see half oil and then half the liquid which is more like a water base. So you have to mix those two ingredients together for it to actually work. So you can pop a little bit on the back of the cotton pad and you just want to rest it on your eye. So you want to rest it on your eye for probably about 10 seconds depending on how much mascara you've got on. And then what I do is just gently side to side, mainly on the lashes not on the skin and I just push up into the lash just to remove any excess. Now, my eyes always go really red, so I always look like I've been punched in the eye when I take my makeup. That's just me, some people don't, but I always get that redness around my eyes. Now, if you find after using that oily one, that your eyes feel still quite heavy with the oil, so they're quite greasy, I go back over with that, and it just takes away any excess oil from your eyes. So I'm just going to saturate my flannel with warm water and all I'm going to do is just rest that over my face for a couple of seconds. And all that's going to do is just open up all the pores on your face so you're ready to get the cleanser onto the skin and get that deep down and then make sure all those pores are cleaned out. So I'm going to use my Clinique facial cleanser. And I'm just using that with the facial soap that comes with it. And all you want to do is use it in circular motions. And it automatically goes on for 30 seconds. So you can use it all around the face. And the top bit is a bit of a darker blue. You can get different heads for them. This one's a little bit of a darker head and that's got harder brushes to go in towards the nose. And that just gives it more of a scrub for you. So I just put some more warm water on it and I'm just gonna cover the face with it and take off that cleanser. You have to be careful not to get any cleanser in your eyes. It does tell you to not use it anywhere close to the eyes. Again, because they're a little bit thin in the skin. Now just use a dry flannel and just pat your skin dry. And as you can probably feel on your skin, my skin goes quite squeaky when it's clean. So I quite like that feel, but it feels quite tight. So you want to hydrate and moisturize afterwards. But first of all, before we do it, I'm going to, before we do it, I'm going to try my new face mask. So this is called Deep Cleanser Black Mask. And it says to cleanse and then pat your skin dry like we have. And then it says, apply the mask in the desired area, avoid eyebrows, eyes and lips, peel it off after 20 to 30 minutes. So, put the back of my hand. And I'm really gonna push it into my skin. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm going to leave that to dry for 20 to 30 minutes, it says. So I will be back right with you. Okay, so it's been half an hour now. I can hardly smile. <laughs> And I'm going to try and take it off and I'm going to see if it comes off exactly the way that it says online. So. And you see it's pretty disgusting, but you can see just all those little pores. It's very cool. Okay, so I've just taken off the remainder of the mask, just a little bit that didn't come off, just with a tiny bit of warm water and my flannel. And I'm just soaking my flannel in cold water just to close my pores. I just press that all over the skin just to make sure all those pores are now closed because as you know, heat will open out the pores and cold will close them back up. So that's why you should always press your face with cold water after cleansing it. Now just dab it dry. A little bit red in these areas where it's just pulled a little bit on those areas of the skin but that will settle down on me because as you know I'm a red face person anyway so now I've done my cleanser I'm now going to put a serum on my skin an eye cream and a moisturizer so I'm going to use the Estee Lauder which is the advanced night repair which is about a pump's worth about the size of a pea I'm going to start it around my t-zone Just follow that around the so I really like the advanced night repair because it's not greasy, it's not uh, it's not oily, but it's not too dry. It just sits on the skin quite nicely. And also the smell of that is not too bad either. Now for the eye cream, I'm gonna use the creme de la mer one. So this is an expensive eye cream. There are loads of other eye creams that you can use that are a little bit cheaper but this one I've got with me today so I'm gonna use this one. It's very concentrated, you don't need a lot. So just use a tiny bit, probably about half a pea on each side of the fingers. Now, you want to set this on your occipital bone, which is the bone that goes around the eye. And you want to use your ring finger, because your ring finger is the softest finger, and you just want to press that in. Now, you don't want to go too close to your eye, because of the heat in the skin will make this rise. So if you do go, do go too close to the eye, it will just go straight into that little bit there, and it will sit in and it will probably create an excess and you might even find it goes more puffy so the ironic thing is don't use it too high because it, it will make your eyes look even worse and an eye cream is supposed to make them look better okay so once this all sunk into the skin i'm just going to finish off with my moisturizer today i'm just going to use the r1 one just going to use two cups of that rub it in my hands I'm going to spread it around the skin and the neck. This one's really nice because it's actually got five fruit extracts in it. So it smells amazing and it feels really nice too. Okay guys, there we have it. There is my cleansing routine. So we started off with the Garnier cleansing water. Then we went to the waterproof remover, which is a Gently Off by MAC. Then we went to the Foam and Sonic Facial Soap by Clinique with the actual Sonic brush itself there. And that, that is the anti-blemish uh, head on that one that we got there, which is the two tones, the lighter color at the bottom and then the darker color at the top, as you can see. And then we went on to our new face mask, which was the Deep Cleansing Black Mask. And that was the one that peeled off after 20 to 30 minutes. We have the Advanced Night Repair by Matt, uh, S. Lauder, sorry, which was just our serum afterwards. Our Creme de la Mer Eye Cream, which is the Concentrate. The 
uh, Arbonne moisturizer. That's the oil absorbing one because my skin was a little bit oily. Uh, and then we also have the Sister & Co Skin Food, which is the actual lip uh, conditioner, which is really, really nice on the lips. So there are all our cleansing products that we use today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you on my next video. And it will probably be more to do with detoxing and these skin products that I'm using. All right, see you soon. Bye.